morning. RDC is our neighbor country. It's our brother country, but I'm coming from Angola. Uh, excellencies, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It gives me great pleasure to speak at this edition of the Dubai Diamond Conference, which I feel is an important industry gathering comprising of industry experts and corporate leaders of the diamond industry. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Mr. Bin Sulehem, Executive Chairman and CEO of the Dubai Multi Commodity Center and Chairman of the Dubai Diamond Exchange for having invited me to address this conference. We understand that Dubai and the DMCC are today one of the most important centers in the diamond industry, and Angolan diamonds have substantially contributed for it since majority of our diamond export comes nowadays to this city. I am immensely proud of Angola's friendship with the United Arab Emirates. Since the time Angola was the Kimberley Process Chair in the year 2015 and UAE the Vice Chair. Our collaboration and bilateral relations have entered a new phase with the introduction of joint policies and cooperation in broader areas of intervention and common interest. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Angola has an extraordinary, appreciable and most diversified mineral resources potential in the African region and in the world. In this regard, Angola's buried treasures, why investors see long-term potential in the country's mining sector. Thus, a key part of the Angola economic strategy is to refocus on the country's mining potential. Diamond remains the most significant mineral among mining operations in our country. Most of the diamond mines are found in primary deposits and some in the alluvial diamonds. Recognized as the world's first large diamond producer and the sad on the African continent by volume. Angola is positioning itself as a world leader in diamond extraction, processing, and production. Indiama, a state-owned strategic company, is the leading player in the Angolan diamond industry, focusing it, its activities on its corporate purpose, namely diamond mineral exploration, mining, ensuring the Angolan, the Angolan production. Sodium is a Zoa state-owned company responsible for controlling and supervising the purchase, sale, and single channel for export of the Angolan diamond mining output and allocates the country's rough gemstones for the local manufacturing. In the near future, its role will be updated in order in order to operate and supervise under the new governing model of the mining sector approved by our president in May 2020. The Angolan government is bullish on diamonds. In 2021, Angola's diamond production amounted to 8.7 million carats. We still continue to create technological and human conditions to live with the COVID-19 pandemic and not allow it to condition the diamond production plan. Thus, the country expects to produce 10 million carats of diamonds in 2022. Our President, His Excellency Juan Lorenzo, came on an official visit to AIA in December last year as part of the new paradigm of economic diplomacy, 
we wish my country wishes to attract foreign direct investment. Foreign direct investment is one of the cornerstones of the Angolan economy, and the government has been pushing FDI by opening the economy for trade with business-friendly policies. Diamond showing an excellent potential, and has been paramount in the Angolan government for attracting FDI, and Angola is indeed looking for companies with investment potential to help materialize this time. We are inviting large companies with investment potential to invest in the mining sector and to make Angola their priority home. I am happy to state that the Republic of Angola and the United Arab Emirates are cooperating in various, in various sectors such as oil and gas, mining, trade and investment, energy, defense, transport, agriculture, banking, telecommunication, finance, and so on. Dubai's relevance in the world is growing with the vision of the ruler equally complemented with resources moving from west to east and north to south. This shift means we need greater cooperation between the consuming and producing nations and Dubai is perfectly located to assist various trade sectors involved. Angola has been exporting around 90% of its rough diamonds to DYA in the last couple of years that has indeed endorsed the long-standing partnership between the two nations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Angolan government has embarked on a journey to reform the country's mineral resources, diamonds in particular. As part of the reforms, the industry adopted and approved in year 2018 a new rough diamond policy with the related technical regulations. The, implement the implementation of the new policy aimed at ending the government's monopoly in the diamond sector, giving way to large-scale benefits and improvisations in the business environment of the Angolan diamond mining sector. By doing so, Angola is offering huge opportunities to investors to establish cutting and polishing factories in the country and enhance their expansion and growth prospects. I am certain that we can help those companies interested to invest in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may all know, Angola has officially launched its prestigious Saurimu Diamond Development Hub, a comprehensive project that unites the country's entire diamond value chain. Inaugurated in August last year by the President of the Republic of Angola, the hub marks a historical moment and is an important step in the country's quest to become a global diamond producer and to benefit also from job creation and added value which will be brought by beneficiation. The Saurimu Development Hub aims to significantly enhance the country's diamond production capacity, enabling the processing and polishing of resource in addition to rough diamond exports. The Saurimu Hub integrates all diamond industry actors, including both public and private se sector players, under one development, and is accelerating production, stimulating overall industry growth. In addition to the Saurimu Diamond Hub, countries existing three cutting factories and one training institute for diamond valuation, cutting, and polishing. Another three cutting factories are included in development significantly increasing domestic capacity. With an industrial area that comprises factories, processing facilities, and multi-sector offices, the hub is committed to increase capa cutting capacity, enhancing the country's diamond value chain. In order to promote and, and know more about the Saurimu Diamond Hub, the Ministry of Mineral Resources, Petroleum and Gas of Angola has organized an important forum entitled the Investment Forum for the Diamond Development Hub of Saurimu, Dubai 2022. Tomorrow, 
from 9 to 12, 13, at Bonington Towers, just adjacent to Alma's Towers. This forum will be presenting all details about business opportunities in the Saurim Diamond Hub and is aimed at attracting investment from potential companies to establish cutting and polishing factories in Angola. The forum will also present several opportunities and benefits in setting up cutting and polishing factories in Angola. Given your role in the global diamond sector, I understand you may well need to have all information or now to gain access to business opportunities in the Saurimo Diamond Hub as you review your performance and strategic priorities for the coming years. I do hope that the forum will be useful to you. You are invited to participate and get in touch for that with our representatives here and the new Jubilee International Media team who know about the forum. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it also gives me added pleasure to inform you that it is also in this context that the Republic of Angola has decided to establish the Angola Diamond Exchange. In this regard, the main objective of the Angola Diamond Boards is to provide a neutral platform that will channelize a regular flow of diamonds under one roof that will be supported by world-class infrastructure and security system. In this regard, Sodium will also be responsive for assuring the operation supervision of all transactions within the Angolan Diamond Boards. Despite the COVID-19 crisis, the boards will be established and opened this year within the Ndiama DBS building in Luanda, the capital city of Angola. I personally request distinguished guests in this room to be prepared for the opening of the Angola Diamond Exchange as we look forward to welcoming you in Luanda. The dates will be announced in due time. Angola is still promoting diamond-related projects, such as the Saurim Diamond Hub, as well as the upcoming Angola Diamond Bourses, including new mines that will be open soon. On behalf of the Government of Angola and of the Ministry of Mineral Resources, Petroleum and Gas, I look forward to a much stronger friendship between the Republic of Angola and the United Arab Emirates, especially in mining and the diamond trade. Once again, I thank you most sincerely for allowing me to speak in this coveted Dubai Diamond Conference and take the opportunity to wish the DMCC, the Dubai Diamond Exchange, greater growth and development for the sake of the diamond industry. All the very best. Thank you for all kind attention.